Okay, so hopefully the lighting is pretty pretty good. I'm kind of in a hallway. I'm, up, I'm, up, I'm, up. I'm in my upstairs, um, and today I'm gonna teach, show you, or tell, talk to about, talk to you about how I practice flipping. Now I do have my flipping setup, which is a lose LFS to seven five to one gear ratio. Um, I have 17 pound test. Uh, I think mono, maybe four. Let me check real quick. Mm -hmm. 17 pound aura. So that's what I have on this right now. Um, my bait and what's on my line actually is a Okeechobee Crawl Pit Boss by Her uh, Berkeley Havoc. I have a, th I think it's three, maybe three out flipping hook. And I have a one eighth ounce tungsten with a bobber stop. So that's what I, this is my favorite bait to flip. Um, and what I normally do is normally I'm downstairs standing on a couch, but for now, since I hope this is better lighting and everything, I'll do it right here. But when I practice flipping, I normally have the bait in between this eyelet and the reel. So halfway in between, like right there. That's my. That's the most comfortable spot for me to have the bait when I flip because it's not the line's not too long. My baby, it's my dog. Um, the line's not too long to where when you when you let go of the bait, it's got a bogey. Watch out. Ooh, like the bait's not gonna hit the ground before you even, it even touches the water. It's not gonna hit the boat before because you're gonna be out and down and you're gonna let go. It's all in the wrist, so when you do it, you don't want your reel like this. You wanna turn your reel and you just wanna have your hand straight out or down and then it's an up, an upwards motion. So it's like, it's this, like that. And you just let go. Let go of the bait and let with your wrist and everything else. Now, I'm gonna, you'll hear my bait hit stuff and everything, it's just me flipping. Oh, go away, come on. It's just me actually letting go of the bait and it falling and hitting the ground. Now when you, when you flip, you don't want to skyrocket the bait up in the air. Like you're punching through mats and everything, you want the bait to skim across the water and softly land into the water. You don't want to make a big splash because if you make a big splash, then you could potentially scare off any bass that you're hoping to catch and you won't catch them then because they're long gone. But I, it, I know it's weird for me to flip with my right hand since I'm right, I, I reel with my right hand but it's more comfortable for me to do it that way. And, and I sometimes practice with my habit in my left hand flipping the correct way. But yeah, the best way is just to either stand in your house outside and you flip to a certain object. Now like what I do is I set up stuff and like chairs and I flip to a certain leg or I flip under it, try to skip it up under the under the chair so I can get that like on the chair. I look as if at the chair as a, a dock or something like that when you're fishing tournaments yeah, or a dock fishing or dock flipping and everything. You want to try and get that bait under the under the, the chair or dock as quietly and as best as possible. So that's what I do. I, I flip under the chair and try to make as much, not as much noise, as least noise as possible. So, it's just nice and easy. Start out at a small distance 
and then you can make your way up to bigger distances where you know you can get it to it once you get the motion down of just the upward motion of the wrist. So but that's all I have. That's all I do when I practice flipping. I mean, sometimes people, I've seen people try to flip into cups and the bowls and everything, and you can practice that, set a couple bowls up or something like that, and just practice for 30 minutes to an hour, just try to flip it into the bowl without balancing it in, because you're not gonna bounce a bait on the water. I've never seen that happen. If you can do it, take a video of it, and send it somewhere, get some money. But the other thing when flipping is you don't wanna flip and then let your finger completely off the, your spool. You wanna make sure when you flip and you let go, you want your thumb lightly on that so that it doesn't backlash. Because I've done it a couple times and backlashing is a pain. So just sit there, stand somewhere, and just practice letting go and, every, and get that motion of this down. I mean, you could sit there at first when you learn how, when you start doing it, and just do this until you get the motion down. And then you can start actually letting the bait out and letting go. Now, when you, with your hand is not on the reel. You just want to have that bait set in your hand like this. You don't want it, you don't want to grab it like that because when you let go, it's gonna, you're going to hook yourself. That's what's going to happen. So just have that bait set in your hand, and then when you're ready to go, just drop it and let let the let, let the line, let your reel do all the other, all the work. And then once you get your bait to where you want it to go, put your finger on the on on the reel on the spool, stop it. So that's pretty much all you got to do if you want to if you want to practice flipping. That's what I do. You can find other ways. I just think that practicing hitting the floor as softly as possible, making as, as least noise as possible, is the best way. So just nice, easy cast. It's not really a cast, it's more of a, just letting it go, letting, letting your line unravel and getting your bait into the water as, as soft as possible. Just simple as that. Now, yes, it takes practice, it takes a lot of practice to learn how to do this. Um, it's not something you're going to learn in one day. I mean, you might if you, if you if you are out on the water for a whole day and that's all you're doing. But I tell you, it took me probably a week, maybe two weeks to learn exactly how to get the bait into the water as soft and quietly as possible. So just practice, practice, practice. Like my dad always says, practice makes perfect. So just go out there or in your house and just practice flipping. Um, like I can't go outside right now, it's 20 degrees and it's freezing cold. But that's all I gotta say is practice. And you don't have to have the nice, all the nice stuff, like nice flipping hooks, tungsten weight, and all that to flip. But I will say, bobber stops help quite a bit. It helps the bait or the, the weight not bounce up and down on the line. It keeps the, the weight right where it is. I'm not sure if you can see this, but that red dot on my line is a bobber stop. And that keeps that weight from doing this and bouncing. It just keeps it in one spot and keeps it there. Um, but yeah, so. That's what I do when I practice flipping. I mean, what I really like to do when I practice is I like to stand up on something, maybe like this, like a chair, like this. I like to stand up on it because, I mean, you're, you're pro this, from here to the, the floor is probably gonna be the same height as if you're on a boat and you're flipping because you're not gonna be standing on the water flipping into, into something. So standing up on something that's elevated and you're flipping down under a chair or down to a chair leg is gonna, is gonna teach you how to 
flip when you're like flipping a dock or under a tree or something. So that's what I do when I when I practice flipping. I, I do it up quite a bit daily, and I mean it's helped I, it's helped me, and I'm hoping to catch some pretty big pretty big bass here in the near future. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Help me out.